okay welcome again everyone to my channel last month was very very amazing you know that feeling you have when all your trades are, are going as projected so let's just do a quick review on our last month's trades first we have the gbp jpy okay you see this was the trade projection that price will may likely pull up then come back down to test this support go up and test this level and come back and flush down to test this support trend line here so i'm priced it just that let's look at another one uh, we had gbp aud gbp aud okay and we did the price all right we run them weekly the trade was price will push up and test this and um, resistance line of the expanding triangle and flush back down so right now price is still moving down and we have for those who didn't join this trade you can still join what you just need to do is go to your lower time frame maybe the daily or the five uh, for a look for price correction then enter yourself from there and which other pair uh aud nzd aud nzd aud nzd okay uh, analysis was on the daily yeah exactly this is what we had uh, let me shift this here this is what we had here projection was price will move all the way up but we saw the price test back the low this low here and break, broke out so you can still trade this pay but first you need to wait for it to maybe come back down and retest the broken trend line and you join the trend again because definitely price may likely um, break down so that is it but before we begin today's and um, sorry this month's this month's trade analysis kindly subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss the next update in first of all we start with an um, aud usd aud usd that is a very nice pair i'm seeing a, a descending channel here you can see the channel is going down so what price may likely do this month is that price may come all the way down and test this um support here remember the flash crash we had in january during january thought this flash crash here now here is acting as support so price may come down and test this support level again then breaks out or you may see it come down here and test this channel support here and break out move to the upside so that's what we are looking at on, on uh, aud usd and let's look at another pair the next pair is euro nzd euro nzd uh, what i'm looking for euro nzd it's the pattern we are seeing here it's a descending descending wedge descending wedge so and already price look at this impulse here this is a very good impulse this bullish impulse here this candle here that is a very good bullish impulse here. that was on 27th of march and you can see since price moved up to the channel resistance the wedge resistance rather it's been here for the past four days so i'm expecting price to break above find resistance here retest the wedge, res uh, wedge resistance then move up but we can also see price doing this come back down to touch the wedge support down here down here then move all the way up so those are the scenarios we may likely see on 
this euro NZD. So uh, under pair, I want to look at this Bitcoin. Yeah, everybody is talking about Bitcoin, Bitcoin, this, Bitcoin, that. Everybody talks about Bitcoin. So let's look at what Bitcoin will likely do. All right, this is what I'm seeing on Bitcoin. You know, and an ascending channel moving up. That is why you can see um, rejections, price rejections on this pay, even on the lower time frame. You can see the rejections. Eh? Look at the rejection in the four hour. But since Bitcoin is very volatile, I always like to do my analysis on this pay on the higher time frame, which is weekly and daily. So you can see prices trying to move. Look at this consolidation here. It took almost two months. Oh, my drawing is poor. It took almost two months for this consolidation here like this for the breakout to happen. So right now what I'm looking for at, uh, on this space price consolidating like moving correctively test this resistance again in days to come then look for its way back down. I don't think it's going to break above now. I don't see that happening. So all I'm seeing is price moving correctively like this. Test this um, channel resistance again then move all the way down and the next pair i will be looking at is nzd switch francs the kiwi has been struggling lately it's been struggling it's been struggling yeah this is it we have support here support here and i'm seeing a breakdown here look at this at this it's a breakdown break breakdown retested retested again so prices has been here for four days now so what i'm expecting price to do from here is just to come all the way down to this level but you know pr um, market don't just moves in straight line you know it moves in waves so price may find support from here may find support here you know maybe pull back you know forming a, a bearish flag or a wedge then come back down here again so this is what i'm seeing from this way so look for a breakout of this uh, uh, called price correction here on the daily once price breaks up uh, breaks down you join the pay and sell it down that is my top four picks for this month of the uh, month of april so i believe this analysis projections will be helpful for you and if you are not yet subscribed to this channel kindly do do that because i'll be dropping some damn hard videos on pro tips on trading not just forex trading cryptos you know equities bonds and binary any strategy you you use on forex can also work on other financial markets so access my big in my free beginners course using the link on the description below like my facebook channel because i drop like hard trade signals every week like every week and also i got some good tips and education stuff on my facebook group so all you need to do go to the description below this video and click the links thank you very much for your time do have a wonderful and a peaceful month ahead.